Hey folks, Micah McGee here. As you see, I've got Grace with me today. She is representing the Camp Dog Cajun Seasoning. Papa Scott gave her that shirt because he knew she'd proudly represent the seasoning. What we've got today is a hind quarter from Joe's Eight Point Boat. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you how to do muscle separation for chicken fried steak. The hind quarter is by far the driest cut on an animal and a deer is dry by nature anyway, so you know it is going to be super dry. Can this cut of meat be made edible? Yes, it can. I'm gonna show you how to do it to where it's edible because if you don't have the muscle separated, you'll have the sinew between your teeth. Nobody likes to floss while they're eating. <laughs> you can clearly see these lines of fat. This here is called, I believe this is the top round. This is the bottom round. This is lower on the deer, so let's call it the bottom round. And in between the top and the bottom round, there's a very small one that we call the hidden tenderloin. Those three are really good for chicken fried steak. If you'll just take your knife, look here, Grace. What do you, let's, let's push this back just a little bit. This line right here and this line right here, you come up this line right here. What do you see in there? I see meat. Yeah, you see meat. Slide your finger right in there. It's already, I didn't cut that. That is already separated. It's already cut. All right, see, my whole thumb goes in. So it ends right here. So we're just gonna take it up here and go around. And then it ends right here. So we're just gonna come up this way, all the way up into this tri-tip area and come this way. He, cut, he killed a fat deer. Now look here, I'm gonna show you that this is what you can't eat. You cannot eat that stuff right there. So, in an effort to make it salvaged where we can eat it, we have to consolidate that. And as you see, it comes out just like a big old tongue and we'll cut it off. This would be considered the butt cheek, okay? That's what we just did. Cut the butt cheek. I'm gonna come all the way down here and take it now. I'm gonna set this out of the way. Now, Miss Grace, look here. We gotta slice it up. Yep, we gotta slice it up. What I'm doing is taking this, this is trim. This will be ground for sausage. This here, see how that separates by itself with no knife? There's your hidden tenderloin. It's just, it looks like filet mignon and basically is so the only thing holding it was that outside membrane we got that we'll trim that up stake it out here in a minute now this is the best piece in my opinion nice big solid very little sinew and even the connective tissue is very nice on it i usually like to just square it up so it makes a nice size steak trim it up and then we're ready to make steaks out of it. Let's do it. This is all the steaks that you can get from a one hind leg, not the whole deer. You get this many twice. So this is the top round, bottom round. This is part of the bottom round and this is the inner hidden tenderloin. It's time to start tenderizing this meat and we might just have us some kids around here that wanna help try it to see if it's good. If you're new to the channel, you don't really realize that I've got this hand crank Weston meat tenderizer. This thing will take a dry, dense piece of meat and it'll tenderize it to the point. Well, you can get a tooth through it. The way I like to do it is put it in, turn it like this, put it through again. The third time, and then you can see it's starting to really come apart. And if you really want it tender, you can fold it in half Drop her back in, 
Run it through. One, two, three. You can sink your teeth into that. And when you bread that with your flour, with your camp dog seasoning, it's gonna be good. All right, folks, you saw it happen. You saw us cut it off the leg, tenderize it after we made it into steaks, bread it, fry it, and we made gravy. Grace told me yesterday she liked the gravy I made. So today I made more gravy. What do you think about it, Mr. Lucas? Mm. This is deer meat. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. So many people out there think that deer meat has got a wild flavor. You do it like this, this deer hang for two weeks in a cooler, Grace's cooler. If you get a cooler like Grace got, you're in business. Tell me what the camp dog tastes like, buddy. I know you don't have a camp dog shirt on right now, mm -hmm. although he did send you one, so thanks, Pop Scott. But how do you like the flavor? We've got camp dog in the bread. We got camp dog in the gravy. We got camp dog on our shirts. We're just loaded in camp dog. Mm. I think today's gravy is better did, did than yesterday's gravy. Yeah. Did you put the white one? It's I a little the, thinner. It's a little thinner. Mm -hmm. A little lighter in color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. If my boys were here, they wouldn't even be able to express how good it is. They'd just be. Mm -hmm. You know, you've seen them on the videos. Yeah. You've seen them on them bacon videos. That's what they do. I don't mind if you eat the rest. Because you know what? I'm going to eat my rest. Mmm. You can do this with pork. That would be called a Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> you can do it with beef. That would be called chicken fried steak. You can do it with deer. That would be called McGee fried steak. <laughs> Could you do chicken fried steak with chicken? Mm-hmm. Chicken fried chicken. <laughs> Believe it or not, I've done it. Mm. 
Micah, at first I didn't believe that you made gravy. <laughs> it looks exactly like yesterday's, but Micah, you a... used both. I did use both. I used the original and the non-traditional blend. It's called non-typical, not non-traditional. What's that mean? It means it's not as spicy because Cajuns like it spicy. And so by making it less spicy, that's not typical of a Cajun. The white one I think is more spicy. It is. But you know what? I used both and it still was good. Man. Yeah. Mm. So I got two big thumbs up on either side of me. Mm. And I'll give two big thumbs up as well, even though I was the one that cooked it. But uh, hey, I can be humble and, and still be proud of my cooking, right? <laughs> <laughs> we got McGee fried steak. We liked it. So if you would like to get you some camp dog, drop it down in the descriptions of this video and you can get it for 20% off if you say in the promo code, McGee, M-C-G-I-E. That's non-typical as well. But anyway, that's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We will see you on the next video. <laughs>